Thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is my second year anniversary on YouTube and I wanted to say thank you, thank you so much for 60,000 subscribers and 3.9 million views. That's so amazing. I can't even believe how many views and how many subs you guys have given me. Thank you so, 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 so much. I wanted to introduce you to a site that I was introduced to. I'm really doing this because I've been asked a lot of questions of selling online. And some of you want to do it more as a hobby, some of you want to do it more as a business. Well, I wanted to go ahead and introduce you to a site that I think has a lot of potential. I was contacted two months ago by Jimmer um, asking to check them out. They had just created a polymer clay cub. It is a free site. I'm using it on my home desktop computer, but they do have an app for iOS and Android. This is the front page. If we go down, you might see this cute little angel cupcake. Some of you will recognize it from one of my tutorials. Now that's something that I had listed for sale on the site and someone bought it. When you list something and it sells on the site, it transfers automatically from you to them. So this doesn't say Heather Wells here. It actually shows you the screen name of the person who purchased it. This cute little feline guy at the very end, a little Animal Crossing dude. I purchased that. I didn't make him. Somebody else made him, and if you made him, feel free to leave in the comment section of your cute little guy here. Make a comment that you're the one who made them, just in case other people are wondering who it is who made it. There's an uh, actual link in the description box below, so please go to the description box below and click on that link to get to the site. If you join, feel free to uh, give me a friend request there. I'll the site is a social community for people that collect. And I'll show you the user profile area first, then we'll go through the clubs, joining the clubs, looking at the items, making friend requests. Here's my profile. There's an old picture from me. That picture is 20 years old. No, it's not 20 years old. Is it 20 years old? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it is. Okay, so that's a very old picture. Sorry that it's not a brand new picture, but oh well. Here you see the number six. That's the amount of clubs I've joined. Here is museums. They do have a few museums on there and you can join. Um, none of them happen to be in my area so I didn't join any. Collections are a way to kind of classify items. So I have a total of 47 items listed on Jimmer. Here's my friends which are 16 and I have 23 comments were made on my items. These are the different awards that I've accumulated on the site. Here are the six clubs that I belong to. So you see jewelry, musical instruments, fine art, plush animals, Disney, and polymer clay creation. I have four collections currently. I have a knitting crochet area. I have products that I bought, products that I want, and um, then I also have items that I've made in the regular gallery and I just that's all my polymer clay stuff. This is the 47 items that I have and it puts all of them together. Now you'll notice that on the bottom left hand side of each item there's blue or red or green. So if you see blue on the bottom, if you hover over it, it tells you who made it or who owns it. The blue, that's basically something that you have. Red means something that you want to buy. There's one with a little question mark. The question mark means something that I don't have information on or that I want help with it, whether I want someone to enter a price or if they want to identify what that is. There's a message center. So you can actually write people here. For instance, um, Crafty Felix is someone that I know here. I could pop this up and these are two messages that I just went ahead and wrote here. If you click on this little area where it says 16, this shows my activity. So with the friends, I already took care of that earlier, but someone sent me a friend request, so I went ahead and accepted that. This is the area where it shows all the awards. The ones in the dark that are colorful are awards that you already earned. The ones below are actually ones that you're on your way to earning. So you can see the progress that you've made so far if you care about the little badges. And the activity stream are all those things that um, that have been happening recently. It's a good way to kind of keep up with what's going on. Here are the clubs. Now the clubs that are on top are the clubs that have been last um, added to. So we're going to go ahead and go to the Polymer Clay Club. Where is it? 
am I missing it? Oh, here we go. Most of the polymer clay stuff is probably items that somebody themselves made, but you can add items that you made, items that other people made. This is basically to share. Here I just added my vegetable platter. Here's a green one right here. So this person is selling their teddy bear necklace. They work through PayPal, so PayPal is how they collect payment and get payment to you. The process actually went smoothly, and I was emailed through them saying what I sold, and um, it gave me the address to send it to. This charming stuff is also on YouTube. This gives us a good chance to go ahead and show you how you could interact through the items. This charming stuff is really sweet. Let me go ahead and I'll put favorite on these cute little apricot earrings. And then I'm going to say I think these are worth $25. Because you could kind of guess. That's not saying you're buying them. This isn't an item for sale. This is just an item she posted. The actual price is pretty much an average of what all the scores together are. So here you just go on the box underneath start talking. I'm going to put very pretty. There we go. It'll show you how to send a friend request. For all of those of you who actually um, join uh, through clicking my link in the description box below, feel free to look for me by clicking on one of my items on the Polymer Clay Club. You could hit make a friend request and you can see it says friend request pending. That's how you know that um, I've gotten the request. And next time I stop by, then I will accept your friend request. And then once I do that, you'll see me in your friend list here and you can always instant message me. I think that people are making the trades through the buying system, so you'd have to buy each other's work. Joining is free. You don't pay anything to list items for sale on this site. And I'll show you how to do that. We'll hit new item. And I'll hit for sale. I'm not really interested in selling my items much anymore. I am on Patreon and that's how people are getting items from me now. We'll hit you know what? I made two extra vegetable platters. So, um, let's see. Do I want to sell a veggie platter? I guess I could sell a veggie platter. I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to hit next. And then the description for my item, um, I will put, this is 12th scale. I'm going to put on a sized platter. You choose your price. I'm just going to go ahead and put $10. And then shipping cost, $3. And then shipping method. I'm going to hit USPS. We're going to leave it in the gallery, but we're going to hit done. You could add an info card if you want, if you want to give size, dimensions, all of those sorts of stuff. And then you could also add a video. So since I have a tutorial, I could always put that there. You could add your tags, which is more important if you want to sell it. Um, I'm just doing this only so that way you can see how it is. So um, that is how you create an item for sale. It is up right away. And so anyone who wants to buy one veggie platter, I don't plan on selling on this site. This is just more so you can actually see how it works. The actual listing is free, so you don't pay anything unless you sell it. The, the selling fee is kind of similar to a lot of the other selling sites. It's a very small percentage. It's a good place to break into actually buying, selling, and trading. If you were wanting to do that on a small scale, just to get your feet wet and to see what other people think. So it's, it's kind of a neat site. I'm going to go ahead and take a few minutes. So my blog is Sweet and Savory Trinkets. For those of you who don't know, um, because I go by Heather Wells on YouTube, Sweet and Savory Trinkets was the name of my shop on Etsy. Um, I was on Etsy for a few years selling. I still have a shop there, but it's empty and I never stop by. 
Then also, let's see, I'm on Patreon. This is my Patreon page. 